Hi everybody, I wanted to share a little bit about what I learned at church service today and then something else. It was about like Samuel and basically how he's about to shed innocent blood because of Nepal. Hope y'all are feeling blessed and doing well, by the way, also. Um, but basically that was really interesting because sometimes we want to fight our own battles, but really God's the one that's supposed to do that because we're not supposed to be the Avengers of ourselves, even though it feels like we want to be that way sometimes. Um, also, to be the ones that, through Jesus, hopefully, can be the ones to calm someone down when they're really angry, you know, and turn the situation around. Um, we can't even do anything without Jesus, though, in the first place. Um, also, I wanted to add about his perfect timing and how, you know, I saw someone and they were like, oh, I'm so behind. They were like little uh, at the church, like a, a young person. And oh, I'm young, but younger than me, like a kid. Anyway, to go on. Uh, it made me think about how we can feel behind, but God has perfect timing for everything. And sometimes I've felt behind in life before, but it's really like, the most important choice is to serve Jesus and really he does do the rest I mean you do put in work of course serve him and do what you're told but if you follow his path you know it's gonna be all right um, overall and that's beautiful also with his perfect timing and everything sometimes that can be hard because it's not our timing and yeah that's been rough on me a little bit too because it's like well you know you think you're supposed to do certain stuff but then you're not actually necessarily and also you know it's going to take you out of places too and sometimes you'll be like oh am I supposed to be here like I've literally had this happen before and then it's like well I guess not like I prayed before and then right after not too long like literally the next day I was let go once and then the next time it was just other things that built up in accumulation after a while and I actually just couldn't take anymore. Um, but just things like that. You know, so he really does know what he's doing overall. Even if we're meant for certain places for certain seasons, it doesn't mean we're going to be there forever and it doesn't mean we're going to stay stagnant forever either. Even if it feels like it, it feels like you're getting nowhere. If you trust God, I believe you're going to get somewhere for sure. If not in this life, well, I, I'm sure you will, but in, in heaven for sure. You know, um, sometimes it's, it can be really rough to do things in this life right, it seems like, or, you know, um, and it feel pressure, but really, we only get one of these lives, and so it's like, uh, if it serves God and it serves his kingdom especially like why not do it you know even if people are like opposing against it and people are always going to have their opinions that's something that I've definitely learned over time and you can't always take everyone's opinion to heart especially if they haven't been in your life forever and suddenly they have an opinion or they don't really talk to you but they have an opinion about this one thing or, like you know and they don't really have much to say except for like bad things it's kind of like well only take that with a grain of salt because then it's kind of like well it's just you haven't really been in my life in the first place and then even if you do know the person sometimes it can still be like take it with a grain of salt type thing sometimes people do have words you know that are wise and that is kind of funny because I was just talking about um, how I was reading in Sam the day in church and Nabal's name was actually, his name meant foolish, I guess, uh, or fool, and the preacher, the person that was giving the message today, it is kind of true, he kind of did live up to that name, uh, in the Bible, because it, he didn't want to listen to any, like, wisdom, he didn't want to listen to his wife, or anybody, and I know that usually the husband's the head of the household, but yeah, that was, that was pretty uh, intense, actually. Um, sometimes, 
you read the stories in the Bible or you hear it from even someone else, you know, reading the Bible and you're like, whoa, like that's like really intense and really interesting and it really captures your heart and your your mind and everything. So yeah, I want to share that. And so today, you know, I've been feeling happier, which is good. You know, I always go through my moments and I think everybody basically does, you know, this earth that has emotions, you know, uh, but I was feeling pretty happy and, you know, someone looked at me and said, you're in the right place, you know, like you're meant to be where you are right now and I just go, I know, and I smiled because it just feels like, you know, God's guiding me and I just, I just feel like I'm in the right place, you know. And although there may be stress and trials and tribulations along the way, trying to trust Jesus, and that's all I could do, which is actually a lot, and pray. Because, man, people have prayed, and I've seen miraculous stuff happen literally in my lifetime, and I'm only 23. And yes, in some ways, I, I feel old because, you know, I have, like, I, I just feel old. In some ways but anyway to continue um but i'm not like i seen um you know prayers get answered that i never really thought would i seen people get saved i seen so many things happen i just witnessed a lot of like miracles honestly with that i want to end this video with a prayer and i'll see you guys in the next one god willing um all right Lord Jesus, I just want to pray for everybody watching right now that you help them with life and help them trust your plans, including me, Lord Jesus. And Lord Jesus, I pray that we don't care what other people think or say, that you help us not to. Especially if it goes against what you say about us, Papa. Thank you, Lord, for everything you do for us. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray all these things. Amen. All right, guys. I love you. More importantly, Jesus loves you more. All right. Bye. Peace out. God bless you. Bye.